Hey everyone, her name is Eric Dorr and in today's video I want to talk about judgment and the harsh opinions towards people of your own personality type. And I want to say I think a lot of people have negative opinions of their own personality type. I, would, I tend to say that typically the starting point is from judgment towards people of your own personality type. What I encountered as soon as I discovered MBTI was first and foremost negative opinions towards people just like me and I started wondering a lot about this. Why did I have this harshness towards people of my own personality type? Why did I carry such judgment towards people like me? And I noticed why I got so angry and so worked up about what people of my own personality type did because I got worked up about it. I got involved and invested in it. It was like I was observing them and I was feeling bad. I was thinking, what the hell? What are you doing? You shouldn't be doing this. I suddenly became like the referee in a football game, starting to point fingers and to say, this is how an INFJ should be, this is how they should act. And then it kind of dawned upon me that I was exercising self-criticism. I got worked up because I saw them making the same mistakes that I had made in my life. I saw myself, I saw them in me, and I saw the things that I had done that I, were, that I was upset about. And I realized in all of this that when, you're, when you have a personality type, that is, of course, your passion. That is what you love to do. That is what you need to find stability. That is what you need to find freedom from stress and from anxiety. When you find out who you are, you find out kind of the roadmap to flow. But you also kind of recognize all the obstacles and blocks in the way of finding this flow. At work, from expectations from our parents, from our friends, from our family, from our relationships. We have all kinds of blocks and things in the way, personas and masks, expectations to fulfill and live up to. And we're all trying to navigate this and balance our nature with nurture, with uh, our development. And none of us grew up with this roadmap or with this instruction guide to how to be, to be happy. None of us had this map to understanding what the right choice or decision was. We didn't grow up knowing what our passion or hobby or interest would be. We didn't know what our purpose would be. And uh, to know and to find out what you have to do is make mistakes. You have to throw things on the wall and see what sticks. And uh, of course, very little is going to stick if you don't if you're just throwing out things out blindly. And of course, you're gonna make a lot of mistakes and you're gonna do things that you regret. You're gonna pretend to be things in relationships to impress someone. You're gonna try to do something in work or you're gonna try to be someone that is difficult to be. I tried to be someone much more extroverted than who I was for so long, and it caused me so much anxiety. And I think a lot of INFJs make these mistakes. I made an, a live stream earlier about things that we mistakes we make within our personality type, things that we did throughout our life that we shouldn't have done. And I think sometimes self judgment is difficult. Self criticism is difficult. It's hard to be harsh towards yourself, and it feels very difficult. And I think when you see other people like you, you have the chance to channel that self-critique towards someone else. When you see someone else making mistakes that you made in your past, you finally have the chance to throw this at other people, and I notice this especially with parents. People joke about how invested parents get in their kids' lives and their decisions. And it's, of course, it makes sense because they are genetically very similar to us. Because they have probably had taken on our traumas and our issues in life. We're going to see them do things that we thought they would not have to do. You're going to be seeing your kids carrying on the traumas that you had, that you'd ever resolved. You're going to see them making the mistakes that you did, that you hoped wouldn't occur again. But in this is also an opportunity. And this is also why it's so important not to distance yourself from your own personality type. Do not distance yourself from people that are similar to you. Because 
in doing so, you only alienate yourself from the hatred or the disgust or the issues that you have. And uh, in doing so, you start thinking that you're free from something that you actually are not free from. I see a lot of people walking around thinking they are free while in a prison in a sense. Because there are so many topics and issues and feelings that they refuse to deal with. Shame, self-loathing, confusion that we have. That we have taken on from the past traumas we faced. Things that we blame ourselves from that is not our fault. And it really does not become better when we make it other people's fault. It really doesn't become easier to manage. The only thing that makes it easier to manage is connection to others. You will want closeness to people similar to yourself and you will want to be there without judgment because you will want to see how they handle the problems that you have faced in your life. You will want to see how they end up solving an issue and you will need patience with them. Patience to allow them to make the mistakes you did. Patience as you observe them and you see how they make the mistakes and how they solve the mistakes and how they fix things. And you will need to show them who you are to make those mistakes yourself and to allow them to judge you. But in doing so, to show them also how they can deal with the problems they have. If anything, I tend to encourage people to have relationships with people of their own type. Just because of this chance, this opportunity to discover more about yourself. But if you start distancing yourself from these people, if you start judging them, I think you kind of uh, do more harm than good. If you date people of your own personality type while judging them, while shutting them out, while ignoring them, and while making them out to be your evil twin, you risk only becoming more alienated from yourself, from your passions and from who you are. And you miss the chance to learn to overcome the struggles that your personality type will face. So make sure if you do date and interact with people of your own type, to try to be open, to learn, to try to observe and to try not to intervene. To try not to think that you will be better at responding to these issues than they would. Same type relationships and friendships are all about mutual understanding and acceptance and in giving each other the freedom to be themselves, to be yourselves from these two different angles. To not confine the other person to a box and to not make them into your evil twin but to make them into a mutual twin, a person Carrying sides of you that you can be inspired by and that you can unlock in yourself. So don't hate your own type. Accept them. Yes, take this opportunity to learn together with them. And thank you all for watching this video. I hope to see you guys tomorrow.